there's me and Kavir Singh also. You know, yeah. the, that angst, that frustration, that heartbroken aggression. I'm sure I must have felt it. Mm. I might not have acted upon it. I might not have gone and behaved like that, but I might have felt it. Mm. You know? yeah. We all go through it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you so much for coming to the studio. Everybody has been excited for like a week. This is the only conversation. I've been excited for two. Thank you so much for <laughs> having me. You've been distracting me. everybody at work. Like, when, when is this day happening? What is the time? So, the background score and all this happening outside. Yeah, I was loving Our it. Our Bollywood. I, I was embarrassed but very happy at the same time. It was uh, yeah, but very, very sweet. Thank you so much for the lovely invitation. So excited to have a conversation. <laughs> I want to start with a story. Okay, so uh, I went to the school called Bombay Scottish. Mm -hmm. It's here in my home. Yeah. And uh, we all had dance tuitions, right? Mm -hmm. Like dance classes. Mm -hmm. And Shamat Dawar just started. Oh, okay, yeah. In our school. Yeah. And uh, suddenly there was this instructor who had come in a Pepsi ad. Everybody I never went to Bombay Scottish to teach. Yes, you were there. You really? Were, yes. In part, Mahim? Where in is Mahim, it? In Mahim. Right here. In. Uh, God, I've been to so many, maybe I have forgotten. And you were there. And yeah. I was there. Oh, you were there? Yes. So it's like. So basically, you're, you're starting the interview by letting everybody know how old you and me are. No, no. How many years have you been here? I didn't say which grade I was. Just talk about it Right now. So, this is like a full circle moment for me. That, oh, sweet. Um, you know, watched you, seen was you. Was I mean time. to you? I was no, told no. I was a slightly strict instructor. No, I was okay? No, no. It was all, it's like that, that Pepsi ad guy. <laughs> it's cute, it's okay. <laughs> Some math types. Yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> so, tell me. So, how did the, did you ever see it? You know, like from dancing, which was your number one passion yeah. to, you know, doing this ad. Did you see it? Did you see that, okay, I'm going to become this star? I saw too many things. You know, I always say this, I think, uh, uh, you know, the background that I come from in the sense that uh, I used to, you know, take my pictures and give them to producers and directors. Pehle to, to get a photo shoot only, it was mm. like, Abina, how will I afford this? Yeah. And, you know, there were these categories of uh, cameraman, you know, and you wanted to work with the ones you can't afford. Correct. You know? So, uh, you know, the way life started and the way everything was, um, I think I was uh, rather blind yeah. towards uh, the many things that can be challenges in my journey and how improbable it was for me to actually become a mainstream Hindi film hero. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was quite thick skinned and I, I do think that I saw a lot of things. Yeah. A lot of them I still have to do. Because like I thought that I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going do work of a certain caliber yeah. and I could uh, reach out to a really wide section of people and of course I, I believed all those things in myself because mm. nobody else did right yeah. I mean I had my mom yeah. and my chota sa Ishan who yeah. was literally 2-3 years old bahut chota tha wo. so he to actually didn't even know anything mm. and that's it and we, we were a family and uh, I had these dreams in my eyes and my mom backed me and she you know the thing with mom is that she is so much of an optimist that she always uh, kind of She's like the wind beneath mine and Nishan's wings. Sometimes you have to actually actually tell her, okay, mom, other people are also good. Yeah. You know, we're not the best things in this world. It's not just so, us. <laughs> yeah, because she's like, my family, my children are the best. Hai, you know, but at a certain age and stage, you really need that. You need really need that kind of uh, you know somebody to believe in you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's how it was. So you know, because you came from this kind of blended family, did you think that that was kind of the accelerator? Because you had to grow up. What does blended family mean? It's a new term. Tell me. Like, uh, what are you trying to say? You know, like blended. You know, like it's a. I don't know the exact term, but yeah. like you know, like um, basically you're not all living together necessarily. So yeah. it's a new. It's a new. That my parents were separated. Yeah, like yeah, a new yeah. way of like a new. I've never way heard of, that term before. Blended family. It's a that. very. <laughs> the okay. fly. Okay, I know, I get it. Yeah. But it's okay, it's cool. So, um, yeah. do you think that's the reason that like accelerated it? Because, you know, you mentioned mm. a couple of interviews that you had, that you grew from like boy to man very quickly. Well, I think being the elder son of a single mother definitely uh, is very different from, uh, like you said, maybe having a father figure in the house or being the younger one where there are older people taking account yeah. accountability. Um, also, my mom was not born in Bombay, she was from Delhi, Delhi yeah. and her base was that of a classical Kathak, Kathak dancer and she came here to become an actor 
and that was a long journey for her because you know when people come from another city and they have a change of profession they have to start from scratch uh, she didn't know anybody uh, there were a few people who knew about her because she was just so famous as a dancer in yeah. Delhi and the you know the cultural circle at that time was pretty tight yeah people knew about each other and people would talk about each other in a good way mm. you know mm. not like how it is now yeah <laughs> <laughs> where everybody's just bitching each yeah. other out uh, <laughs> what she did. but uh, yeah yeah so it was it was uh, you know it was a tough journey for her and obviously you know I was uh, quite old my mom was only 20 or 21 when I was born Oh, yeah. uh, you know, so by the time she was in her early thirties, I was already, <clears throat> I was almost a teenager. Yeah. You know, and by the time she was in her mid thirties, I was uh, finishing school, and uh, I wanted to support her, mm -hmm. and I wanted her to not have the pressure of, uh, you know, paying for my <clears throat> education yeah. or my daily expenditure, and uh, so that was a very strong driving factor for me that I didn't want my mom to be doing it all alone. Right. I wanted to support her as soon as I could. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not always a good thing, right? Because yeah. you need to go through the different phases of life, yeah. uh, you know, to get to the place where you are man enough to then be a professional and move Correct. forward. But it happened very early for me. I started uh, dancing with Shamak when I was 15. Mm. And very soon he fortunately really liked my dancing. So he included me in his group. And then I became a professional dancer. So I was actually earning and I kind of was at least able to support myself. And I wanted to do more work, yeah. uh, you know, so then I went out looking for more work and I started doing a few ads and music videos. And I was really proud of the fact that, you know, I am self-sufficient and yeah. I'm not dependent. Yeah. And my mother was really proud that, you know, my son at such an early age, 16, 17 year old boy yeah. is taking things in his own hand. And it gave me a lot of drive. Yeah. Uh, it helped me at a, I mean, in a way, I didn't really live my teenage years because I started working really soon and then I was consumed by that. Yeah. But I loved what I was doing. Whether yeah. it was the dancing or whether it was being in front of the camera, I was really passionate about it. So I felt I was fortunate to get those opportunities because when you come from the outside, anything is like, like wow. any opportunity yeah. feels like, oh shit, it actually happened. Yeah. Kaise ho gaya? Yeah. You know, man, I thought it would happen, but it happened. You yeah. know, that's that. How did it happen? Yeah, yeah. So that was the way it was in the beginning. And uh, I, even debuting as an actor happened very early for me. In fact, I just completed 20 years. Wow. Uh, in May, on 9th of May, uh, and my wife kept a little get together at home and she called uh, Mr. Ramesh Torani and uh, Ken, who mm -hmm. was the director of my first film. And I met them after a while, you know, because yeah. I somehow haven't worked with Ramesh in the last few years. We've done a lot of work together, but mm -hmm. last few years not been able to do something. And he just came and he said that, you know, you know, Shahid, you know how keen you were to start or teri dadi bhi aayi thi. and he used to keep coming and sitting in my office and saying uh, you know sir mujhe film karni hai, film karni hai. and he said I actually stalled you for two and a half years really? from debuting because you were in such a hurry yeah uh, you know and I guess that was really good for me yeah. in fact even when I debuted I felt I was too young and I had no co-actors yeah. my age mm. nobody wrote scripts like that and it was a real struggle yeah uh, you know so so everything that we do in life is meant to happen so that we become who we are, so that we come to where we come. Yeah. So, you know, so I think we should all be very proud of our journey. And uh, people who don't struggle, actually, I feel very bad for them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Because how are you going to fight uh, when there is a challenging situation which comes in your life? You're not conditioned to fight. Yeah. You know, like I feel like I'm conditioned to fight anything. I can survive. I can fight. I can take hard stuff on my chin. I can, you know, grow a thick skin when I need to. I can back myself when nobody believes in me. And all that happened at a very early stage in my life yeah. because of the way that, uh, you know, my life panned out. Mm. And I feel those are the fundamental building blocks which have allowed me to or helped me to survive for 20 years. Yeah, and it builds yeah. character. Of course, yeah, of yeah. course. So, you know, that, that phase of your life could have been very interesting where you mm. went from uh, you know auditioning or really trying to get into films to breaking mm. into like a first like really commercial cult film like it, it was iconic that time it was full of newcomers we barely <laughs> yeah. had a budget to make that film but my introduction back, shot I started shooting at 7 in the morning it happened at 2.30 in the next morning why? you know because usually it... people say my first shot yeah. and all you know I will do it nothing my director was like chal khade ho ja. <laughs> Tirko, you know, you're getting launched yeah. and that's a big deal. Yeah. And at that time, you know, there used to be uh, film cameras. Yeah. And uh, one reel of film, which is I think about 400 feet, used to be really expensive. It yeah. was like some 20,000 bucks or something. Yeah. So you were not allowed to do multiple takes. 
you, because you just have to get it right. There is a designated amount of film footage that was given by the producer to the director saying on a daily basis, this is how much film footage I can give you. Yeah. You cannot come and ask me for five, six, ten more reels because then our entire budget goes for a toss. And that's just how it used to be. Like I remember uh, Ken told me, he said, Shayad, it was his fifth or sixth take, mm -hmm. you know, and he said, Shayad, I'm giving you one more take. Either you get it right or then we'll go with what you, we have. You know, and that's just how it was. Yeah, like you put yeah. in that situation. Yeah, and that's great. That's when you perform. Yeah, you perform. Yeah, you don't have an option. You have yeah. to do it. So what are your what are your learnings during that time, right? Like because a lot of people find themselves in this, it's almost going to happen. Yeah. But kind of like give up because you yeah. know, you, you've tried and you've tried and yeah. you don't see the result effectively. So what are some of your learnings during that period in your life? <sighs> see, it's very... Uh... I don't want to say something that gives people the wrong kind of direction, yeah. you know, because there's so many people and there's very few who make it, you know, let, let's start from there. Let's first have perspective about the fact that there are millions of people and there's only 10, 12, 15 who break out as mainstream actors who can, you know, kind of pull a film on their own shoulders, mm -hmm. right? Then there will be actors who will be in slightly more supporting categories. There will be actors who will do more experimental work. There will be work which will be on a digital platform or there will be work on television. Mm -hmm. You know, there are various categories. Most people come in because they want to become a mainstream Hindi film hero or heroine. Yeah. You know, that's nine out of ten people, I think, aim, start there. And then it's kind of a disappointing journey downwards of settling. Mm -hmm. And when you settle in life, even though you are successful, you don't feel deeply satisfied. Yeah. Because you feel somewhere you didn't get what you set out to get, mm -hmm. you know. So I think it's very important when you come into this job to understand there are too many factors, you know. You should know that I can't do everything. Mm -hmm. A lot of things have to work out for you, you mm -hmm. know, and that's beyond your control. Like I, when I look back at my journey, I feel extremely blessed and fortunate. Yeah. I, I can't take credit for everything. I can't. I have given it 100%. I think I'm good at what I do. Um, I love what I do. But a lot of things had to work out for me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here. I wouldn't be, you know, in this position. Um, so that's not something anybody can control. Mm. So it's important to know that the, the, the law of averages is not on your side when you want to enter a, enter a field like this. So I feel it's important for people to come in uh, have, being open in the options that are in front of them. It's important, firstly, to be trained and to be skilled, yeah. you know. There is no, I mean, the problem is ke how can you, like a doctor can get a degree and say, okay, I have learned, I'm educated to be a doctor. As an actor, how do you do it? A lot of the times it's just natural talent. Yeah. Sometimes you're born with the gift and then you have to hone it. Mm -hmm. And as you hone it, you start understanding how to use it. And once you learn how to use it, then you become a professional who knows what to do. Okay. Uh, you know, so somebody can be born with a 10 on 10 ta talent, 11 on 10 talent. You know, some people can be born with a 5. Mm -hmm. But... You might think you're the best thing in the world, but eventually it's the other people who will decide whether you're good enough, yeah. which is based on how you can showcase yourself, what, the, what are the opportunities that you get, where did you learn, how much have you learned, do you have something which is original and different from everybody else so that you'll stand out, mm. are you going to get that opportunity, do you have the patience to wait, will you be able to not get depressed or depleted or kind of broken in that journey, there are so many factors. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, there's not so like one, it's like a combination of things. That it's you too many things. I just feel any profession you do, if you know what you're doing, if you're good at what you do, I think you'll survive. Mm. Um, here, I think people run after, I don't want to contact me, I don't want to go on Instagram, 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 I don't want to go on Instagram. If you want to be a director, then you learn the direction first, mm. you know, mm. and learn from mm. You know, I think people, like I feel like I want to spend my entire life, a part of me must always be a student. I think a lot of people now, they feel they know too much, you know, because trust me, when I started, I thought I'm going to change the world and I'm going to you know, change the way things happen. It's very easy in your head to think about it, you know, thoughts are just thoughts, they're not reality. Yeah. Reality is actually what you can go out there and achieve. And there are so many factors which you have to learn to deal with yeah. to be able to come even close to what you want to achieve. Mm. You know, and that perspective only comes with experience and time. And usually people get very bogged down with it. Mm. But if you come with that predisposition in your head that, you know, I want to do this, but this is the world I'm entering. Let's see how it plays out for me. Mm. I'll take every day as it comes, have a backup plan, you know, have a second option, 
keep working towards that mm. be happy to work yeah you know don't plan for the goal enjoy the journey yeah you know if you are doing what you love if you're getting to make movies or be a part of them in any way you're getting to do what you love there are not too many people who can do that a lot of people have to do their job they might not love it yeah they might not be passionate about it they but have they have to, to do it, it yeah. right because that's life yeah. but you're doing what you truly love so as far as you're getting a chance you should be thankful and happy and like things will happen if they have to happen yeah. and how they have to happen yeah. yeah and in this journey you know through through all of these movies through the stardom through everything have you discovered shahid as a person not shahid the actor you know yeah. like they're two different things uh, because you've said somewhere you you reference this in an interview that with each role you play you actually get closer to who you are yeah you discover uh, different facets of yourself as a person you tap into different kind of emotions or like different personality types or traits or yeah. uh, you know yeah you have to draw from within you yeah. know because i feel that's what's truthful yeah. if you're drawing from outside then you're projecting you're Correct. not being and i yeah. think for me as an actor eventually the camera catches everything can't lie mm -hmm. i don't believe in lies in front of the camera i think you should be honest mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who say that you know we can perform our way through it that's a different school of acting but for me it's really about feeling it and i think that's very uh, i find it very uh, therapeutic mm -hmm. you know liberating therapeutic because i can actually express yeah uh, you know yeah and we all have had so many emotions through our life right if yeah. you get like a channel through which you can push them out mm -hmm. it actually feels very nice yeah. it's depleting sometimes but uh, it's very uh, i don't know i like it And you're spiritual. You're you, you've been. I mean, I think everybody is spiritual in their own way. But yeah, I have a lot of interest in spirituality. Yeah. Yes. So how has that transformed this journey of yours? In It, the sense. So you know, uh, what is that? I mean, what do you mean when we say spiritual? It's just about connecting with yourself. You know, we are very consumed with everything that's outside. Uh, we spend very time with ourselves because mm. there is a lot within us. I just think it's just about tapping into that uh, inherent connect that we all have and uh, whoever finds kind of uh, peace uh, or happiness or kind of feeling like at home and safe and secure whatever it is however you want to define that emotion I think uh, it's very important to tap into that because I think that's what grounds you I think that's what gives you uh, meaning beyond what we are doing mundane daily things that we have to do whether it's our responsibilities whether it's our desires that we are chasing mm -hmm. whether it's our habits that we are not being able to kind of break out of or our patterns that we are stuck in so to say or whether it is just the practical reality of life every day that now we are committed and into that right mm -hmm. we are in the middle of our journey like if we were a book mm -hmm. we'd say we're all somewhere in the middle chapters yeah. you know so now we can't go back to the beginning and there is still time for the end so we have to go through what we have to go through and what do you do when you mai to so raha hai nahi na mere hi aadmi mujhe feel kara raha hai ki main kitna boring insaan hu so sona hai tere ko bahar ja ke so ja sorry so what do you do when you're disconnected because it's so easy to you know look at you say from the outside and say yeah. okay this this man just has it together like he has the family has the career he has the life but I'm sure it doesn't always see, seem like that you know from outside no, everybody really else's not. life looks so nice i also feel mm -hmm. like that about so many people yaar iska to set hai yaar main aur na you know it's like the how, how is the sun also so cute like matlab it's like <laughs> <laughs> god is like i'll give everything you. you know yeah no i i no definitely i feel yeah. very very blessed but uh, uh i don't know i see uh, like i said i can't take credit for everything i feel very blessed to be where i am but uh, you have to work every day you know every day is a hustle every day is uh an opportunity every day is work you know whether it is like a lot of people think like personal relationships they just happen you know i ye hota na ki pyar ho jayega to apne aap sab work out ho jayega hmm aisa nahi hota hai you know <laughs> you know roz mehnat karni padti hai roz uh, you know you have to adapt and change and evolve and like i said you know break your patterns uh, life throws challenges at you and i feel like till the time you don't break your patterns life will throw the same challenge back at you and you keep feeling like ye mere sath hi kyu hota hai mere sath hi aisa kyu hota hai you know but because you need to learn something you know, i think god gives you that opportunity and you have to learn and you have to grow and uh, it's a you know life is a nice long journey you know koi jaldi nahi hai bahut time hai life mein you know kaam karne ke liye hum jaldi mein hote hain thoda sa so that's the only thing but yeah i'm 
I can't take credit. I'm, I I would say I'm very very blessed. Very blessed. Yeah. Is there a is there a moment in the last twenty years where you felt like, okay, this is my best work, and I'm peaking at this point? <laughs> Mm. I don't like to use the word peaking because mm. I feel that you 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 subliminally telling yourself this is my best. Yeah. You should always want to do better. Mm. So you should you can say I feel I'm in good form or I feel like I'm hitting the right kind of uh, you know I'm just in a good rhythm or things like that. Mm. Um but why waste time thinking about that? Just the only it. reason to feel like that is to give yourself a little bit of like you know to feel self assured yeah that i think i know what i'm doing i can trust myself right now mm. um while you listen to everybody else there ha- you have to trust yourself because your process is your process you know and you are who you are nobody else can be you and therefore they might not understand everything that you do in fact i faced that a lot in life mm. like a lot of people have friends family um other professional colleagues or you know people i might have worked with i'm sure a lot of them wonder why i did the things the way that i did them you know i i can sense that because i had a my own way of doing things right and it's not that like it was right or wrong but it was my way of learning and my way of kind of getting to where i needed to get and figuring things out and making my mistakes and then understanding exactly who i want to be and what i want to be because i i'm not the kind of person who looks at somebody else and say, says i want to be that you mm. know like i don't think like about life like that anymore maybe when i was in my early 20s of course we all start like that right yeah. but then you have to grow out of that and you have to find yourself yeah you know and that actually is the more challenging journey yeah. when you're not really chasing some other person's like you know it's not like google maps mein maine khol liya abhi main ye rasta follow kar lunga aise nahi hota hai you know it's like a trek yeah you know you're out in the wild you got to go figure your own way out yeah and when you come back you can call yourself a professional trekker because you did it on your own yeah. not because somebody else went and you just followed them yeah. you know that's not life is not fun like that yeah. it's too structured if you want to be unique if yeah. you want to be original you have to tread on your own it's yeah. very important it will be challenging you'll make a lot of mistakes you might be your in your trajectory you might have more mistakes than other people or more failures than other people but once you find your rhythm then you know then you will be very uh, consistent and solid and uh, you know you'll be able to pave an original path for yourself correct you know and yeah. i think that's what i crave to do as an artist yeah i want my own personality i want my own kind of filmography i want my own work ethic my own way of work mm. uh, you know mm. I, i i feel that that is very uh, satisfying and yeah. you know it's it's nice to do it like that but there is a distinction like you can tell a shahid kapoor film like when i saw fazi i was like wow this is this is so him you know like through the journey you've yeah. seen it in kamine you've seen shades of it in like yeah. like just different things is that something you consciously work on that you bring that uniqueness <laughs> and that identity is just the way it's happened for me is that all the stuff that was out of the box that i chose is the stuff that stood out you know so mm. all the thing like doing an ott show right after the biggest success of my life kabir yeah, singh i mean a lot of people like what the hell are you doing yeah. and i was like no i just feel like there are no rules to the game you know you should not be restricted by how things have been in the past Hmm. I think the most successful actors the biggest superstars they rewrote history you know they came in and they found their own way of doing things you know and that's what over a period of 35 40 years hmm. make them like whether you want to call them legends or you want to call them like you know people who uh, you know will be named in the list of those few people in the history of cinema so to say or or like indian cinema so yeah. to say so i feel like that's cool right we should do that yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about love. What is your thought? What is your feeling about love? It broadly and then specifically. So first we'll start broad. Start by loving yourself. Okay. I think it's very important. And I I don't say that because I feel any less love for myself or something. I just feel when I look around right now, I just feel like everybody is just so I don't know, there's so much mental chatter, you know? Mm-hmm. And I feel like you you keep talking to yourself. You yeah. know, you keep telling yourself आज मैंने ये कर दिया अच्छा था ये बुरा था ये मैंने ये क्यों पहन लिया अभी वो फिटिंग अच्छी नहीं है अभी मैं वहाँ चला गया उसको बुरा लग गया अभी मैंने ये किया ये मेरे साथ इट्स लाइक कॉन्स्टेंटली वी आर टॉकिंग टू आर सेल्व यू नो वाई यू नो लाइक जस्ट लेट इट बी यू आर हु यू आर यू नो दर इज नो नीड टू कॉन्स्टेंटली चेक योर सेल्फ एन ऑल्सो आई जस्ट फील लाइक दर इज अ पीपल आर लाइक नॉट लविंग दैम सेल्व इनफ 
um not comfortable with themselves constantly wanting to change because there is so much exposure to so many other types of people so many different lives so much out there earlier it was not like that yaar you'd live in a smaller group of people hmm. your exposure would be much more limited yeah like uh, you're not validating yourself against instagram or somebody else's life on instagram. see now instagram is very much about uh, what you see is what you get yeah it's a flex but yeah so it's just like you're creating that right it's yeah. not real a lot yeah. of times people are looking all happy on instagram they might be depressed in real life you know mm. so that you should not use that as yeah that's not the right uh, reference point mm. to look at what's happening to others mm. you know Were so, you always? Um, did you always manage it to be easy to love yourself? Like, did, was it a healthy? I don't love myself, but I don't like dislike self-love. myself. Yeah. I'm comfortable with who I am. Always. You know? no, 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 not at all. It's been a, it's been a journey. Okay. Uh, you know, so uh, yeah. So I mean, you should just. It's all good. <laughs> We're all good. <laughs> We're all everybody good. is nice in their own. I think everybody has. something unique about them everybody has something beautiful about them but you know we want to be something as opposed to accepting who we are yeah you know and yeah. i have also gone through that you know wanting to be the and then you know but this is who i am so like and it feels so much more kind of uh, peaceful and it feels uh, uh, a lot more natural because hmm. you're not trying to be you're just being you're letting yourself be you know and within that you grow but your question was about love so ask me a more specific question What is your take on millennial love, right? Because there's so much, so much. Like, I don't I know, know. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm forty-two, <laughs> man. I don't know how, how it works anymore. Okay, like so. You, have you have you heard of situation ships or like maybe ships? You know, like where it's just like these confusing. What is all this situation ships? Yeah, yeah, ships like. Ships, like, like, like these I don't know what it's called up. anymore, man. I've done my stuff in life, but I don't know what it's called. I mean, anymore. this I is like the, the dating app era. Right? Like swiping. Maybe this is this is where I get updated. Yeah, like you swipe and it's like options, you know. Yeah. And then it's like okay. Well, good for you guys, man. No, you no. Get to swipe and that, get it's options. It's not that great. So that's why there were so many <laughs> options when I was there, man. There was nothing to swipe <laughs> when I was on the market. <laughs> on the market. Okay, so let's start, talk about your type of love. Let's talk about uh, your marriage, the love mm. that happened there. Let's talk about a love story. Okay, so man, woman, love. Yeah. Okay. okay. What about it? Ask me. About your relationship. Yeah. I am not going to give you gyan. You have to ask me a question. I'll answer. So I am asking you such a specific. Question. What is the question? Let's talk about. That's how's, not a question. You're telling okay, me what to do. How's your marriage? How's how's marriage? How's married life? How's married life? Yeah. Married life is uh, you know it's like a test match, you know, <laughs> which is also I think five days both come out. Of course, because you go through so many different phases and uh, you know you grow together, you learn about each other. Um, you know, children happen, and uh, as we enter different phases in our life, we will. Uh, see each other growing and evolving we will see independently you see your partner and you changing and evolving uh, as a couple you see uh, how that relationship is forming and changing and where it's going and you have to navigate it a little bit once in a while uh, you have to always be collaborative about the process you will go through phases where you don't get each other then you have to make the effort to sit down and understand each other and once you cross that phase you feel you're so much stronger yeah uh, you know because because those are those when you get married you don't know each other at least with me to it was a largely arranged marriage kind of a thing mm-hmm. but i really feel like you know i have seen so many friends also you know do teen saal char saal date karte hain fir jab shaadi hoti hai usse yaar ek hi ghar mein rehna ek hi kamre mein aur fir ek hi bed aur fir ek hi bathroom bada mushkil hai yaar timings alag hoti hain choices ki simple things like ac ka temperature kya hona chahiye yeah. fan hona chahiye off hona chahiye are you a morning person are you a night person <laughs> these are such big things or like what type of content do you want to watch on tv like how do you divide that time you know that's just about two people then of course there's children yeah and when children come in then you know you, that becomes a whole different so ball whole game dynamic, yeah. and then there are parents and family on either side mm. so there's so much to it yeah yeah And how acting do- feels very easy now. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, I'll do that. Hey, ये तो हो जाएगा. इसको संभालते. But how did you? How how did Shahid Kapoor, the the you, like you know who you are right now, mm. get arranged marriage? Like how did you decide that? How did you take that call? I don't know. Like, I okay, think I just. Know, like, I was thirty three, thirty four, and I was like very lonely. Okay. You know, I was like, I would win awards and I would come back home and share them with my dog. लाइक क्या लाइफ है यार मैं क्या है लाइक व्हाट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ ऑल दिस यू नो यू नीड टू शेयर योर लाइफ विद समबडी एंड यू नो एंड आई वाज सिंगल एंड आई वाज लाइक हैप्पी एंड लाइफ वाज ग्रेट एंड आई वाज सेल्फ सस्टेन आई वाज लिविंग ऑन माय ओन आई हैड बीन अर्निंग फॉर 
long time so i was independent beyond a point i was a man nobody would ask me questions beyond a point mm. my parents also were like you know now you're you know you're grown up you yeah. do your own stuff and whatever but i felt very lonely you know and i wanted to have a family immediate family of course you have your parents, parents and all yeah. that yeah. but you know after a certain age that's very different you mm. know you want somebody your age you know you want somebody who you can connect with and parents are parents you know bachpan mein theek hota but after a certain point you can't be you crave, be, uh, you crave yeah. that companionship yeah. now nah? yeah. so uh, so i was kind of open to meeting somebody i could settle down with my uh, biggest fear was that i live a slightly schizophrenic reality because one side of me is this whole spiritual no alcohol vegetarian mm. you know all this uh, meditation and all these kind of things uh and one side of me was like actor mm. glamour hero mm. so know. dichotomy yeah, yeah so it was like i had two very different sides of me क्या तो कोई ऐसी लड़की मिल जाएगी जो ये साइड समझ लेगी या ये साइड अब ये दोनों साइड समझने के लिए कैसे होएगा यू नो सो आई थिंक आई वाज जस्ट ओपन टू मीट समबडी आई केयर हाउ आई मेट मीट एंड टाइम um but uh, once we started talking you know she was very mature and uh, very sure of herself she had a strong individual personality and uh, she didn't care actually that i was an actor and all you know she oh, yeah. was very she didn't really it didn't seem to bother her or be like this major factor which is in her head ki mm. oh ye to you know hindi film she was normal you know yeah. and i think that's what i crave i crave normalcy yeah because i'm you know always surrounded by people who first view me as the star but hmm. like not as a person yeah and in your personal life that's what you want you just want to come back home you want to have a normal life you want to be normal you want to be stupid hmm. you want to look bad you want to like eat rubbish <laughs> you want to like you know you know yeah, yeah, yeah you want to yeah. just like yeah, do just the regular be, stuff yeah, right because yeah. the rest of the times you're going to do the other stuff yeah. right because and i you mean, have to do it simply in a break up of number of hours a day or the number of days a week or number of days a year you're going to have to be that guy yeah. for 75 80% of that time yeah. right for the 20% that you have you really do want to yeah. be that guy right? <laughs> like i don't want to be yeah, put please, together please yeah please yeah. please let me just be you know <laughs> i need to go away to come back otherwise yeah. i might never come back again you know <laughs> let's talk about shahid the father hmm. so you you said in an interview that you know you returned from kabir singh and her daughter didn't kind of like recognize you immediately <laughs> did i yeah. that must have happened like so look like quite a mess yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've done so much research Sorry, we can compile it and give it to you. Don't the, give it to me. All the things that you have said. नहीं नहीं मुझे इतनी सारी चीजें नहीं याद रखूँ. आज का देखते हैं आगे बढ़ते हैं. Yeah. So how is it like? Uh, is it uh, is it difficult because you know you're so out there in the limelight yeah. and now there are paps and like yeah. the photograph everything that yeah. that moves around you. Yeah. So is it difficult or what do you what do you kind of impart as a father to your kids? See, uh, as far as the media attention is concerned, people are not dumb. Hmm. Okay people see how you behave hmm. if you want to be seen and if you want to be all the time in the limelight and then suddenly you say ye mat dekho but ye dekho and that's not really right you know i hmm. think uh, i really feel that i have always been a little reserved hmm. um i've always liked to keep it less than more when it comes to uh, kind of uh, my personal space being viewed I I do understand that uh, it is important for people to have some perspective and you know to get a little bit of a sense of who I am uh, you know uh, but I have to be protective towards it you know and I think uh, to some degree people have been sensitive to that especially when it comes to my children yeah. I have seen that people and I must say this about uh, the paps they have been very sweet when I have said care bachcho ke sath mat karo so they have been very nice so yeah. i actually you know very uh, grateful that they have shown that kind of thing but i think they sense that about me as a person ki you know he is not so like that so that inherently that understanding happens mm. i'm very thankful for that other than that um you know my children live a largely normal life i want them to do normal things uh, they have just about discovered what i do oh yeah yeah just about you know so thoda thoda ab now they are getting to know more So, so I'm a little scared. He kaise ja? How is this going to go? How will this pan out? <laughs> Do they watch your film? <laughs> Because they have both versions. You know, yeah. I've seen some kids really not being able to deal with it. Yeah. And I, that really scares me. You know, yeah. you look at me like, man, I really this is not where it should go. Mm. And I have also seen some uh, kids, you know, who uh, 
uh, really uh, you know done well mm. uh, you know as they grow up they've become in- individuals you can say like solid kids yeah you know? so obviously you want the best for your child um other than that it's just it is what it is mm. and one can do what one can do you know and uh, handle each situation as you can you can't live in an illusion close your eyes and say yeah. oh ye to you can't do this nahi no, can't nahi hota hai everything is a kind of a subtle negotiation yeah this is what subtle we do adjustment yeah. so you got, that's what we do so yeah take it from there you spend a lot of time with them i spend as much time as i can with them to a degree of telling myself ke i need some time for myself ye main kya kar raha hu but i can't help it hmm. i can't help being with them i just uh, they are very addictive yeah Yeah. <laughs> you know, kids are damn addictive, you know, and they are also very persuasive yeah. and very manipulative. They get what they want, <laughs> you know. So I get manipulated by them. I love being manipulated by yeah. them, uh, you know, because I think we all want somebody in our life who we can unconditionally just love, love or not worry about how we are behaving. Mm. You know, थोड़ा सा tantrum फेंकना है तो फेंक दो, unreasonable होना है तो हो जाओ, थोड़ा सा you know. uh even sometimes i feel like they are bossing over me you know <laughs> so my wife warns me she like shayad very soon there will be nothing left of you you <laughs> like meri space to khatam ho chuki hai who am i you know yeah. she said you know but uh, i love that that's just how how i am my natural personality is like that um yeah so i love spending time with them of course i need to work and mm. i love my work mm. uh, so i need to be i like to be out there as much as i can um but whatever time i have is meant for them and for meera you know I mm. love spending time with them. We have a close group of friends, mm. so I spend a lot of time with my friends, and you know, the rest of it is with family. Have they watched your films? Little bit. I, you know, the other day, Meera, I think this Jabbi Met re-released. Yeah. Uh, oh, so, ha, yeah. uh, yeah. oh, then it was released. So Meera said, "This is one film where you're not abusing, or you know, there's not blood coming out of your nose, or you're yeah. not playing a very disturbing character." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this film, they sent them. Yeah, this is a good. So that's the first film they saw of mine. Oh wow! So what yeah. did they say? Yeah, they really liked it. They loved yeah. it, you know. They, yeah. Uh, they, yeah. I think they enjoyed it. It was a fun film, also, no? So I think yeah, yeah. It, yeah, of course. They went with my mom. How cute! Yeah, they had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> And what did they come back and say to you? Like, Not they much. Like, they were just they like, like absorbing. Oh, they were yeah. just absorbing it. Yeah. Also, I don't know if they recognized me. You clean shaven. मेरे पापा इतने चिकने चिकने, you know, because now I have a little bit of a stubble yeah, and yeah, all that. Yeah. So slowly, slowly they absorbed it, but they yeah. were normal about it. I mean, they they kind of uh, they got it. They ask a couple of questions about the film. वो ऐसा क्यों कर रहा था, वो वैसे क्यों कर रहा था टाइम. Oh yeah, that's yeah. oh, sweet. That's it. Speaking of which, you know, you've uh, moved genres. Like you've gone to like a farzi to now bloody dally. Yeah. Is a conscious decision because I mean, given that you know you. Can you take decisions in an unconscious state? All decisions are conscious only, na? Why do people ask this question? So, was it a conscious decision? No, na. I have not made a decision. Of course, everything, even our mistakes, are conscious decisions. Yeah. No, like, okay, is this something you said? Okay, let me venture here. You know, like actively, or did something come your way? And you were like, okay, no, now the script is good. I just feel I now I'm kind of happy to attempt anything. I think I've okay. done enough work. There is a time at which you want to do certain things, but you're not necessarily ready for it. Hmm. You know, and then uh, I think you reach a phase where you should not stop yourself from doing different things. Yeah. So I just feel like I've done enough work to be able to attempt different things, mm. and I enjoy changing it up. I yeah. enjoy doing different mm. things. I need the right person to collaborate with, mm. and, you know, the right uh, director, or, uh, the right team, and the right subject and character which excites me. Yeah. That's it. So yeah. when something comes which ticks these boxes, then I don't think so much about yeah, ऐसा है कि वैसा है. I do it. And are you enjoying OTT? Yeah, I mean, I I don't feel any different, you know, because on a On on the sets of Farzi or mm. or on uh, Bloody Daddy sets, there's no difference what okay. you do to yeah. make a movie and what because I think honestly, let me very honest, the, the caliber of work that was done in Farzi was as good as any movie, of if not course, better, yeah. in terms of uh, cinematography or in terms of uh, dialogue, mm. the way we were shooting the scenes, the caliber of actors that one was acting with. uh the the general trajectory and the quality of uh, writing it was all all, all uh, you know a plus plus hmm. that's all that you should worry about and on ali sets i there's no difference between hardly any difference between uh, the way we shot that film hmm. um and the way we would do an action or if we made it for the big screen yeah. the subject was of a certain nature we chose that subject hmm. for bloody daddy um because we knew we were taking it to ott yeah. you know so i think certain stories are meant for a ott experience and certain stories are meant for a screen experience we felt that this story will probably land better on the ott platform 
although everybody has been telling us why don't you release it in theaters mm. uh but that's i think because there is a certain persona that i am bringing and there's a certain action and stylization that ali is bringing which makes you feel like you might want to watch it on the on big the screen, screen yeah. but i feel the overall arc of the story uh should be for ott yeah yeah i feel also there's a huge binge factor right mm. like you you just want to keep watching like even with farzi mm. there's this massive cliffhanger at the end of season 1 and you're yeah. like yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens? Thank, thankfully, people liked it. So, as I said, yeah, he finished it. Now, why will they make a second? But it can go either ways. You know yeah, how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it worked out really well. Farzi yeah. was, uh, Farzi was very special. I just, uh, I remember when I saw the last episode, I called Raj and Deek, and I was like, man, I just feel fortunate to be a part of this because it's just bloody turned out so well. It just looked. I know like... everything in the show, but I was only hooked on. I was like, "What's going on?" I was like, "I have done it. Why am I still hooked on?" But that's just you know. Sometimes it's that's like how it that. Is. And everybody yeah. called and said that. You know, everybody hmm. called and said that. Man, we usually don't. A lot of people called and said we don't watch Hindi OTT hmm. content. We log, watch more of like you know. Yeah. And they were like, "This is the first show that we just." Watched it and binged it and finished it and so many people called me and said, "You know, you have made my next two days bad. I was watching the show and I was sitting there. I didn't go for my work hmm. and I had this big smile on my face. I, I was like, that's exactly what I want to hear." Uh, so it turned out really, really well. Yeah. Hmm. And you said something. You said you know I want to explore new things. So yeah. What next? Like, what are you actively looking for? Oh, actually, I have a lot of stuff lined up. I don't know how much of it I'm supposed to talk about right now. Yeah. They, they, because everybody likes to make their own announcements. But um, mm. I've just finished a film uh, with Kriti. Hmm. Uh, that's yeah. like a high concept uh, rom com, com rom. I wouldn't really hmm. know what to call it. Uh, but it's a fresh, different subject, and it's a love story. I think that much I can say. Um, fun film, very fun yeah. film. Again, like a genre breaker for me. I've hmm. not done something like that for a long time. You know, how so exciting! I was very scared when I was supposed to. I was like, "Will I get bored? Will I repeat <laughs> myself? Will I have nothing new to say in this space?" Like, are you But, very used to like guns and you know, like like bleeding and like high action? I'm just, like, you're just like what's no, going on? No, this not <laughs> no, not really. It's just I was. I'm just used to kind of uh, playing slightly complex characters. Yeah. You know, when I get something, it, it challenges me. Yeah. So sometimes when you're playing a character that's not very complex. <laughs> Uh, you know, then you feel like, but now what will I do? So you have to find a way of doing that also, right? Yeah. Because that, Better, that well, or different. Of course, you have yeah. to bring something to it, and yeah. it should feel fresh, and yeah. it should feel natural. You should not look like you're kind of, you know, it should not look like it's a very laboured performance because mm. you're not comfortable in that space, uh, mm. you know. But by the time I started, within the first three four days, I was like, I'm really having fun. This is yeah. fun, you know. It was light and easy, and and you know, could have fun with it. It was quirky. There's a little bit of comedy. Mm. It's nice. It's fun. And and what else? Anything else in terms of like what do you want to explore about yourself? You know, like in in terms of films or I just want to do different things. Okay. I'm happy to do comedy. I'm yeah. happy to do action. I'm happy yeah. to do more complex stuff as far as it's not repetitive. And I'm happy to. I want to do love stories also. You know, I want to do yeah. love stories. I'd love to do a biopic. I'd love to do a bigger scaled action film. I'd love mm. to do, uh, you know, um, a really like a human story, mm. uh, which has human drama in it. And now we have two different spaces. We have the big screen and we have yeah. OTT. You know, yeah. so you can choose and understand which subject lends itself to which kind of uh, space. Hmm. Amazing. Okay, there's this other segment. It's things about you we can't find on Google, and there were very few things. Why will I tell you? Let's see. You found stuff. No, we didn't find. Exactly. Chupa ke rakhe. Yeah. We roll the dice. Okay, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Any role you regret doing? No. Yeah. It's very bad to say something like that. I do yeah. regret a few, <laughs> but I won't name them. <laughs> <laughs> the most shahid role, like the most the most shahid role. Yeah, like you know, like this is good kind question. Of me. Yeah. I think at different stages, stages, different roles. You know, I think when I did Jabhi Mein, there was a lot of me in Aditya, mm-hmm. and I think when I did Farzi, there was a lot of me in Sunny. Oh wow! You know, really? I, yeah. So go figure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, I didn't yeah. expect. <laughs> so you, you know, it's not like nobody can be an exact version of you, yeah. but they can have qualities which uh, you know you which you have, but you kind of draw them out in a certain way and put them out in a manner which suits the story and the character. Yeah. But there is you in yeah. a lot of what you do. I'm sure there's a lot. There's me in Kavir Singh also. You know, yeah. that angst, that frustration, that heartbroken aggression. I'm sure I must have felt it. I might not have acted upon it. I might not have gone and behaved like that, but I might have felt it. Hmm. You know. We all go through it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Your favorite poster? Hmm. See, now it's easy for me. I've done all these ads with my wife, so I can just say Mira. Oh my god! Ah. <laughs> 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 
your biggest fear hmm good question i i have fear like i don't like flying that's like a stupid fear you know really? like yeah, i don't like flying but i fly i behave very nicely also but i don't like it okay yeah. that's all fear and there say i'm like uh, i am on a plane but <laughs> i do it uh, my real big fear actually my my i don't have a fear but i just feel i want to be able to uh, kind of substantiate my my spiritual journey okay you know it's like and the smart ones should prepare prepare for life after death oh wow right so you should connect in some way mm-hmm. to what lies beyond so that's actually something that i would not want to miss out on wow very deep think na the boring deep insaan an unknown skill of yours that we'd be shocked कोई स्किल नहीं है मेरे अंदर जो स्किल ऐसा था कैमरे के सामने नो आई एम अ हॉरिबल कुक यू सिंग आई एम अ वेरी बैड सिंगर यू राइट आई हैव ओनली रिटन वंस इन माय लाइफ ओके नाउ आई एम आई डोंट हैव एनी स्किल आई एम आउट ऑफ एक्शन लोग ऐसे दिखाते हैं ना मैं अपनी टंग टर्न कर सकता हूं कि किसी और का कुछ और से मेरा तो कोई नहीं है ऐसी स्किल व्हाट डू यू डू इन योर स्पेयर टाइम और इन माय स्पेयर टाइम ओह I uh, actually genuinely spend a lot of time with my family. Mm. I uh, like to ride, so I like to okay. ride whenever I get a chance. I go for biking trips. I love to play sport, so mm. I play cricket. Cricket is my favorite sport. Um, other than that, I enjoy table tennis and uh, I enjoy uh, soccer a little bit here mm. and there. But I never learned, so I'm not so good at it. But yeah, I play for fun, and uh, I listen to music. Yeah. Um, I do. I just sit around and like, uh, you know, sit on my iPad and <laughs> randomly browse through content and faff. <laughs> yeah. You know, random yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so stuff like that. Watching shows. Hmm. Travel. I love traveling. So I love. But on a travel. plane. Or कहाँ कैसे जाऊँ मैं बेल गाड़ी में यूरोप नहीं जा सकता. Because you said no, I don't like flying. So But I'm now not... what to do? Okay, so we will deal with the dichotomy. Yeah. Yeah. All good things come with you know. <laughs> Some kind like of roses like come with thorns, thorns no? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Like what to do? <laughs> Your favorite Shahid Kapoor song? My favorite Shahid Kapoor song. I like a lot of songs. I think Bismil. Bismil will be, always be my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Because of the way that it was shot, I really mm. liked it. You mm. know, because other songs are dance, dancing, mm. and this that had like so much more to it, right? Yeah. So Bismil, Bismil, I think was a very special song. Mm. I'll always like. I like it. Just, I don't know if we'll ever be able to do something like that. I think it was too cool. Yeah. Okay, the next segment is if you. So it's if you could, right? So if you could be any of your characters for one day, who would it be? Honest answers only. <laughs> yeah, honest answers only. <laughs> oh god. I don't know. Any of Sunny? my characters. No, bichara I feel bad for him. Life bahut kharab thi. I'm thinking mera acha aisa character kaun tha jo like everything good was happening in his life. I don't know. None of them. I'm over them all. Them. Yeah, you've yeah. lived them. Yeah, I'm done with them. If you could go and get into any other profession and be just as successful in that field, sport. Oh, yeah. I love sport. I just uh, unlike films where sometimes you can give a good performance, mm. but uh, if the product is bad, people don't even kind of you don't even get any appreciation. Yeah. Like in you. sport, when you play well, you know, like your your score is on the board. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you have an individual kind of uh, tally. Yeah. Of how many runs you scored, how you played. But actors के साथ ऐसे नहीं होता है. How many good performances doesn't matter. Picture कौन सी चली थी? Yeah. You know, that's the only thing that yeah. matters. Yeah. You know. So I feel sometimes I feel like that's a little unfair. So, but yeah, I love sport. I would uh, probably uh, want to be equally successful in a sport. The only thing I, about sport I don't like is that you know it ends so early. Like I think men come into their own in their thirties, mm. and and in most sport you know yeah. you are done in yeah, your thirties. Yeah. 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 You know? So that's the only thing I feel like, man. Like, and then, and then after that, what? Yeah, you know? and then what? So, so that uh, always scares me a little. But yeah. definitely, sport is great. And the sport would be cricket. Yeah, cricket Probably. would be my first choice. Yeah. yeah. If you and Meera could switch roles for a day, what would you do in that day? Like your Meera. Call the shots. <laughs> Does she? I'd just be already? taking all the decisions. <laughs> I'll be like, that's how it's gonna be, all right? Yeah. So just do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm the woman of the house. That's the way it's gonna be. If you could go back in time and replay your character, any movie you can oh, pick. Oh, interesting. Any movie, and be like, okay, I'll do it. I would it be happy time. to try most of them again. One. 
पद्मावत आई प्लेड डिफरेंट व्हाई इट वाज सो आई लाइक माय सेल्फ दैट्स सो दैट्स सो शॉकिंग टू अप टाइट या आई थिंक आई डिडंट ब्रिंग आउट अदर एलिमेंट्स ऑफ दैट पर्सनालिटी आई कुड हैव आई गॉट स्टक इन अ हेड स्पेस आई एम बीइंग वेरी कैंडिड या 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 ऑफ कोर्स मे बी अदर पीपल लाइक्ड इट बट आई फील आई कुड हैव या लास्ट क्वेश्चंस um you know the the term that comes out when you think of shayad kapoor one of them is definitely like he's self made he's not from the industry he's come from outside and he's made. nobody believes that why everybody thinks you know no. his father yeah, too was an yeah. actor but like uske piche jo lambi kahani hai usko pata hi nahi we'll we'll go with self made because we believe it yeah. so what would you tell the youth you know we have a lot of young people watching the show yeah. How do you stick to your guns to make it? What makes you think they're interested in my opinion? They are. They all have such strong opinions. They we'll, think they. We'll send you comments. You know, <laughs> when they comment and say, "Wow, okay, that answer." Okay, what's your question? <laughs> I'll try and answer it. Advice to youth on sticking to your guns to making it. Even if yeah, they also. Yeah, I think I think what I'd say is that uh, start by working. Get out, start learning. You know, that's step number one. Don't have conditions. You know. Uh, learn to take things as they come uh, learn to do things that make you feel uncomfortable mm. because discomfort is what leads you to uh, you know when you can be in discomfort comfort for an extended period of time that's what actually you know kind of polishes you to be a better version of yourself yeah. you know if you want to do anything you have to struggle you have to strive you have to be uncomfortable and then you get better at it then you have to push yourself further that's just how it works right mm. so don't look for comfortable circumstances uh, and then say when all these things will happen then i will do this yeah no you have to do things and uh, see we can be good at what we do but we have to deal with people in life and situations so i think that is something i also took time to learn you know when i started i was very good at what i did i think but i was not so good with people and situations mm. you know i wanted everything to be the way that it should be so that i can do what i want to do yeah. but you have to do what you have to do despite of everything not being the way that it should be. Mm-hmm. you know and that is what being a professional actually is mm-hmm. that you go down go out there and do what you need to do despite everything uh, you know that's actually when you are you know yeah at the top of your game and you can say that listen you know i'm the best at what i do because you're beating the odds it doesn't matter what's happening around me i'll still go and do what i need to yeah. you know so i think that's what you should aspire and chase and uh, of course you should believe in yourself do what you really believe in mm-hmm. you know i think a lot of people end up doing things thinking that that's what works So don't chase success. Mm. Chase, you know, like brilliance. Chase, you know, chase your passion. Like, you know, and learn to do it in a practical. Yeah. You know, don't have unreasonable expectations. And yeah, just be happy. Don't be in a hurry. You know, don't jump from one to the other to the other. Because when there are two, sometimes I feel like like it's great when there are very few options. because if you have only one thing then you'll focus all your energy on one thing yeah. if you have 30 things from cho- to choose from you'll jump through 30 waste all that time and then realize that oh shit now that i know what i want now is it too late yeah you know so like yeah. master of one not jack of all yeah good advice yeah and focus on your strengths always focus don't worry about your weaknesses yeah focus there is no time yeah yeah, yeah. there is no time you're good at something go for it Amazing! Thank you so much for doing this. Thank It you. was I had so much fun. Genuinely, one of my most funnest. Thank experience. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. I had a pleasure. It was a pleasure. If you like this episode, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Thank you all for being the best community, and I'll see you soon.